Alrighty guys, we're here at Frontier City in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And we just walked in. Uh, getting in process was very quick, just like all the other Six Flags parks, so I'm not going to show it. But uh, yeah, we're probably going to head, I don't know where we're going to head, honestly. Nothing's probably open. But we're going to head to something, that's for sure. We're probably not going to be here too long because there's only five coasters here. And we've been told that we don't really need much time here at all. Alright guys, it's about an hour after that previous clip and we're already done with the park. We finished riding everything in literally an hour, so I think that gives you a good idea of what to expect from this park. Something looks off over there, doesn't it? This park has Pepsi products, not Coke products. So I'm not sure if you guys can see it well. That's Pepsi products over there. Pepsi, Gatorade, Mist. I'm gonna give my quick thoughts on all the rides, so... Steel Lasso was pretty bland. I mean, it doesn't really do much. Silver Bullet is the Schwarzkopf. That was pretty good. Wildcat was the wooden coaster. There's a couple little pops of airtime. Nothing crazy, though. Um, Diamondback was a great ride. The airtime was very strange. It was a very surreal experience. And the kiddie coaster, you actually need a kid to ride, so just be aware of that. I got lucky that someone was nice enough to let me ride with their kid, but just be aware of that otherwise. Here is the Watson right here. Dad, what are your thoughts on Frontier City? Oh, this is really cool. It's, it's kept up really nice. I think it looks really good. We understand the challenges and hardships. We went through it pretty fast. We did. Chris, what do you think of Frontier City? It's a cool throwback park that's probably really good for first-time uh, amusement park guys, or kids, whatever. Um, this definitely does not feel like a Six Flags park at all. Very nice little park. And something also I want to note, Diamondback, you enter through the gift shop at the exit. There's no like actual entrance outside. You walk into the gift shop and you actually enter from the park. You enter into the gift shop and you exit out of the gift shop. And you also enter Diamondback in the gift shop. So it's very, very strange, but very cool. But yeah, this park seems really cool and really nice. And we'll see you guys in the next clip.
something else to note is that you actually get really big pups when you refill your drink. Yeah, look. You just dump it in. And it's actually... It's bigger than it's bigger the than, actual cup. Than the actual so, cup. drink some and then put it well, in. Well, bigger than the actual old cup because the new cups don't hold as much like that one. They don't hold as much. So that is going to do it for our day here at Frontier City. Very, very nice little park. You don't need much time here because it's not very crowded. And the park itself is very small. The five coasters here, you know, they're fine. Nothing crazy, nothing bad. What are your thoughts on Frontier City? Oh, it's a nice park, nice theming. I actually liked uh, Lightning Loops, well, Diamondback. I never thought I'd ride it again, so that was pretty cool. That's about it. All right. Chris, what did you think of Frontier City? Uh, it's a great little park. Good uh, throwback. Brought back a lot of memories, especially with Diamondback. Uh, you know, you really only need about two or three hours here at Tops. Um, that's it. Don't, don't make it your only destination. That's all I could say. Exactly.